So Lord of Wolves is nerfed, and I actually had someone comment if I was going to make a video on this, which made me feel like such a YouTuber, so thanks for that, but let's get on with the video. So now that Lord of Wolves is nerfed and Bungie does have a track record of destroying guns, is this gun still viable? The answer is like, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, still pretty good. It's, it's really good, actually. When I first used it after the nerf, I actually didn't think the nerf went live, so that should tell you something. Initially, I thought the nerf didn't go through, but the more I used the gun, the more I noticed like I was actually dying more from shots that I would have gotten kills with before. So, the range nerf is actually really noticeable, to the point that I wouldn't even attempt to fight people from that range unless Release the Wolves wasn't active, which is more viable now because the range you do get from Lord of Wolves when the, act when the perk isn't active is still pretty deep. So another change that Lord of Wolves got was decreased ammo on pickup, when you have two shotgun scavenger perks. It used to be 30 shots, but now it's 20. I did say before on that other video that 15 would still be nice, but 20 still has this gun be viable for me. 20, that's two shots. Like, that's so great. So honestly, the only change that had me rethinking the way I use this weapon was the range, honestly. Like, the decrease for release of wolves is so noticeable. So, that alone made me really use this weapon like an actual shotgun. Not only that, but using Lord of Wolves without Release the Wolves active is also very viable. I was getting kills from far away because uh, they didn't affect the range when Lord of Wolves is just without Release the Wolves. Not only that, but with these changes, some exotics are far more better with the shotgun now since now you have to close that gap. For me, the exotics I was using with Lord of Wolves were stuff like Stompies, Charm vs. Steps, uh, Dune Marchers, to really close the gap gap between the enemy. Titans, I feel like, can go really wild with Lord of Wolves since they have more exotics that synergize well with Lord of Wolves, like the Mark 44 Standicides, which give you overshield while sprinting, meaning you can not only get closer to your enemies while taking more hits, but once you stop, you'll have your full health right there. The only downfall is that for this exotic to proc that overshield for you, you will have to use a subclass that has a shoulder charge, and you have to use your you don't have to use your melee. So only use your melee if you absolutely have to. Another viable option would be the Antius Wards, so you can cut those corners safely and get those picks. This last one is kind of a no-brainer, but the one-eyed mask can grant you overshield and net damage buff from people you kill that are marked with vengeance and you get wall hacks while you kill that guy so that's probably gonna be what everyone uses since you know one item mask is filthy if I was gonna think about possible synergies for the hunters and warlocks I'd probably go with the frosties for the hunters since you will get you'll be getting hit a lot so getting your abilities faster will be nice especially if you're using bottom tree arc since that one sort of stores energy faster while critically wounded and your frosties will already be doing this Wormhouse Crown is another viable choice since you'll be going to firefight, get the kill, and then dodge to proc that heal, and then be ready for another firefight. The Six Coyote is also nice for that double dodge for two free reloads. But for the Warlocks, you could use the Astrocyte Verse since it increases blink distance and you can do more. You can do it more, but you also ready your weapon faster and your radar remains up. Basically, you could just blink into a group and kill them all since this weapon is still this gross. Ophidian Aspects would be nice for the faster ready speed and reload speed and your melee range is extended. This one is just all around good, in my opinion. Both of these classes have wall hack exotic helmets, but they are such trash compared to one-eyed mask it's not even worth, worth it to use them in my opinion. One of them being one eye of another world for warlocks and it grants you wall hacks on priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of grenade melee and rift abilities and the other one being foe tracers for the hunters and this one marks enemies you shoot and deals more damage to low health enemies that are marked this is not an exotic review of these but damn these are trash and compared to one-eyed mask it's fucking horrendous so to end this video off is Lord of Wolves still viable? Yes it is. This gun is still red, is still really good in close range and it will down anything around you. The changes they made to Lord of Wolves thankfully didn't kill the gun, but it did make it less reliable in range, especially in release the wolves state. But if you're gonna be looking for a shotgun with range, then I suggest you practice with a chaperone. 
but that's it for this video what do you guys think about the new changes to lord of wolves do you like them should they have gotten harder let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i'll see you guys later